on an all-new episode of This Versus That. We answer the question, what's the fastest way to board passengers onto an airplane? Plus, witness history in the making as we become the first comedians to make jokes about air travel. We're gonna be the Donner Party of aviation. You're dying, you're suffocating. What is this versus that? It's the show that uses science to investigate questions everyone seems to have. Paper or plastic? Should I stay in one lane or use a life vest enough? or the seat? But no one else can seem to answer. Not it. Not and these are your guys. There's Mark DiCarlo. Dwarves, druids, a murder of crows. Chris Tallman. Sleep in, f it! And Brad Sherwood. They're armed with the most reliable information. They'll conduct experiments. I can't feel my fingertips. Speak with the experts. Come on, guys, why aren't I in the shot? And discover the facts. You might call them scientists. You are an idiot. But don't. Mostly, they're comedians. That's the most important thing about a water landing. Try and do it close to the shore. And yet, at the end of each episode, your questions will be answered. And the right decision for you to make will ultimately be revealed. Oh! I'm not sure what we proved, but we did it. This versus that. Last year, over 700 million passengers boarded airplanes out of U.S. airports, resulting in a profit of over $4 billion to the top 10 U.S. air carriers. Anyone have a guess as to what the number one passenger complaint was? Uh, too few articles about golf in the in-flight magazine. No, 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 that was the year before. Passengers' number one complaint was having to wait, standing around and waiting to board the airplane. Ugh, I hate standing around with people I don't like. Oh, just pretending to... I would say the number one problem facing the airline industry is just inefficiencies. Inefficiencies like ticketing, refueling, maintenance, and baggage. This is Captain Ross Amer, a 30-year veteran of United Airlines and currently the CEO of MyAviationExpert.com. And there is one inefficiency he believes that can be most easily corrected. Airlines could increase their efficiency by finding a proper way to board the aircraft. They can find themselves a lot of time that they could be flying and making money. According to this study in the Journal of Air Transport Management, they found that airlines in the 1970s loaded passengers an average of 20 passengers a minute. Today, just nine passengers a minute. I know, and you know why? why? People are fatter. People are slower. No. Anything to do with global warming. Oh, no. what about uh, no. soccer? No. I don't soccer? Like, yeah, it's boring. It's carry-on bags. They're too big, they're too bulky. They don't fit underneath the seat, and they do not fit into the overhead compartment. Try it. See? See that? That adds 10 minutes, according to your article, to the boarding of every single plane. So why is improving boarding speed so important? I mean, other than the fact it would reduce the number of angry passengers who take a poo on the beverage cart? Remember when that happened in 2000? Yeah, good times. Every minute a plane stays on the ground at the gate costs the airline $30, approximately. So if the airlines could shave 10 minutes off the turnaround time it takes to get a plane ready, that'd be a $300 saving. Now, your big carriers fly 1,500 flights a day. 1,500 times $300 works out to $450,000 a day. You multiply that over a year, it's $165,250,000 of savings. And that's just one airline. At least 10 different U.S. air carriers schedule 1,500 or more flights a day. And they're almost always through Atlanta. What's up with that? Can, can you guys even see me? Oh, God. Hello, hello. What is up with the words? Anyways, Captain Amer's results were dramatically different. Oh no, I quit. No, done, forget it, no. You're talking perhaps $200 a minute loss for every minute that airplane is sitting on the ground not producing any revenue for you. For more on what causes boarding delays, we turn to Brad Sherwood. The number one thing that slows passenger boarding is the airline's inability to effectively utilize the plane's interior space. The number two problem, people with umbrellas. Here's what I mean about effectively utilizing the plane's interior space. Suppose there were six of me lined up to get inside this car. There's regular Brad, pocket pool champion Brad, breaking up with his girlfriend right now Brad, 
Brad with a crippling sun allergy, Brad the fan of the WNBA's LA Sparks, and Brad doing a totally awesome robot. Now, let's see how long it takes for the six Brads to get into the car. Now, some of you may be wondering, where did we get six Brads? And what do we do with them after the shoot? Well, our this versus that scientist worked hard, cloning Brad in a secret Siberian lab. The six Brads were flown to Los Angeles specifically for this experiment. After the experiment, the six Brads were dismembered and their corpses were buried and, oh, time's up. The six Brads got into the car in 26 seconds. Next, we tried the same experiment again, only the six Brads got into the car more efficiently. seconds. When the six Brads can simultaneously utilize more of the car's access points, they all get inside the car faster. In this case, twice as fast. In science, this is known as the Chinese fire drill principle. It's this idea, the idea of simultaneous access, that the more efficient airplane boarding methods utilize most effectively. Let me show you how it's done. Yet another problem that slows passenger boarding is the order in which passengers are boarded onto the plane. The FAA mandates that we don't seat our regular passengers first. No, no, no. First, we have to board the elderly, the sick, people with special our needs. Our first class passengers, our elite passengers, our double bonus platinum elite passengers. Pretty girls, tall people, skinny people, people in show business, dwarves, druids, a murder of crows, everybody but you. And just as you suspected, they all get the seats that aren't broken. And that's the good news. The bad news is science has looked into this, and there's absolutely nothing they can do to speed up the process of boarding a plane. You are an idiot. Coming up. Start. Our experiment gets underway, but not before our 72 passengers are thoroughly entertained by these two circus performers we hired to prevent them from leaving. Hey, that guy made a ham sandwich with his feet. <laughs> 